This video was sponsored by Steamforged Games. Check out the links in the description for more information. Hello and welcome back to Dicebreaker, where today we're being joined by Alex and Jamie once again from Steamforged Game to play Monster Hunter World the board game. Part two. <laughs> and um, we're actually going to be taking on a new monster, isn't that right? Uh, yes. I've already forgot the name. Nergigante. 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 We've also uh, swapped out uh, a team member on our end. Uh, Wheels isn't in this week, so we've swapped it in for another Alex. It's Alex and Mian has joined us as well. Uh, so Hi. now, to, to pile on top of the fun and chaos of the last Monster Hunter video, we have now three Alexes to, to mm. just add extra chaos to the lot. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to have you guys back and, and to play this game again. Um, we, I mean, spoiler alert, we won the last time, but it was it was close, right? It was <laughs> yep, like it was close. It was barely won. Um, yeah, and so we've got a new monster now. And uh, do you want to tell us a bit about this monster? Yeah, and yeah, what we're we'll facing today. In. Jump straight in. So the thing I'll say off the bat that we did in the previous video. So if guys want to see this part of the um, the game, go back and watch the other one because we do do it there. Um, there's usually a gathering phase that you will have where you're going through the choose your own adventure stuff, which is where you guys all made some awful choices that <laughs> led to us almost losing. Um, so we're not going to be doing that here because this is an arena quest. So arena quest, you get give, like given preset gear to go in and try and beat uh, a monster. So you, this wouldn't be part of a campaign. When you're doing those, you don't do the gathering phase side of things. So we're going to skip that for now, partly because we wanted to show off how the, the arena stuff works and partially because we don't want to give away too much of the fun choose your own adventure stuff ahead of the like people receiving their games because we don't want to spoil literally everything. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll just be jumping into fighting the monster. The main difference that we've got between Nergigante and Anjanath, outside of you know damage, size of the miniature, all of those terrifying things. Um, if you remember the physiology card that we had last time, which is where we were putting our break tokens and our elemental tokens and stuff, there's a new slot on that board, and there are some new tokens next to it. They are his spike tokens. Oh, dear. So um, as fans of the game will know, Negagante grows spikes out of his head, wings, forearms, and tail. Um, they start off white and they gradually turn black. And once they turn black, he does a really scary dive bomb move. So I've kept the dive bomb move face down. So that would be a lovely surprise for you guys. <laughs> oh, um, he's going to, as we deal damage to him, <laughs> those spikes will start to grow on those body parts. He also has some behaviors in his deck which will put additional spike tokens onto those body parts. Right. Once More it spike. gets round, just spikes everywhere. He's a, he's a bit of an edgelord. He's a spike he's of a lord. lord. <laughs> so he'll, he, um, once he's at six, when he's starting his, his go and he has six spike tokens on him, he will be doing the dive bomb maneuver rather than the behavior that we've already got that we are expecting. So we need to keep our eye on those. That's not to say there's, that we can't do anything about them. Um, again, if you remember from last time, um, you will have attacks which have break icons on them. So you can deal break damage. When you deal break damage to a part, if it has a spike tokens on it, you will also remove a spike token. Awesome. So you need to be careful with those break tokens and kind of weighing up how much do I want to break this part for the special rule or the rewards versus how much do I need to kind of hold on to these to try and keep the dive bomb away for as long as possible. It's pretty unlikely that we will not see at least one. Being entirely honest, I imagine we're going to see a few of them. We'll see how that goes. But that's just to give like the, the overview of how those mechanics work. For reference, when me and Alex did a practice run on the Tabletopia module, I think it was last week, I think we saw dive happen three times. Yeah, I think it was three times. Yeah. Oh, so, oh boy. Um, <laughs> and as I said, I'm going to, I'm going to, usually we kind of have the information fairly open. I'm going to leave the dive bomb face down because I want to see yeah, your guys' reaction you don't to it. Yeah, spoil the fun. We... In inverted commas, fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, outside of that, I think 
that is that's everything like it'll kind of be any rules that people aren't sure about that are watching um you know i believe we do a bit more of like an overview at the, the top of the other video though i honestly can't 100 percent remember yes um but it should all be relatively self-explanatory and pretty easy yeah. to follow Obviously, if you've not watched have... that video you should just watch that video anyway you watch it it's great mm. there's there's a lot of bum talk in there which are people always enjoy <laughs> <laughs> Like Nothing those. to do with me. Not my fault. I didn't instigate it. I think fault. I can That's guess it. the culprit. Don't worry. <laughs> Being entirely honest, I think it was me. But there you go. Um, but yeah, I think we're ready to jump in. So Jamie's gone ahead and marked the the nodes that we can start on with mm. the um, the oh. track tokens. So if you look on the board and you can see where the white tokens are, mm -hmm. um, that's where we're allowed to place ourselves. Um, we can have more than one hunter on a node if we want to, though it's not generally advisable. Um, and looking at the first behavior, um, the first behavior is going to be targeting the furthest and the, it's going to originate from his tail. So oh. we know that the target of the first attack is going to be the furthest. So we probably want to put the person that is going to be taking this punch to the face the furthest away. Um, <laughs> Only other note I've got is that we have two potions between the four of us. Mm -hmm. So, better that, than mine. Is that a good I amount? I don't know. Take the punch in the face. Yes. So, potions. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, Lowry. <laughs> I volunteer him as true. <laughs> yeah. um, the potions will give you um, a full heal uh, and fully clear your stamina board. Um, so they are extremely useful, but depending on what equipment you've got, I'm not sure if anyone has the piece of equipment that allows you to use a potion and attack. Generally speaking, sharpening your weapon and using a potion are things that are separate to attacking. So you have to decide that you are doing those on your turn. They're called preparation actions and then attacking and stuff like that are combat actions. And you kind of want to decide which of those two you want to do at the start of your turn. But we can jump into the meat of that once we're going. So in terms of where you're going to deploy, um, there's one safe node, which or safe node, which is the one that, is, that Nergigante is looking directly at because that's the one that's closest to it. Um, the other three all seem to be the same distance away from Nerg. So what's going to happen there is even if you all stand on all three of those nodes, because n none of you will be the furthest away, instead Nergigante will go for the hunter with the highest threat. So um, near stamina boards... Yeah, you, you've got your, those threat tokens. That would be the bow hunter at the moment. So, Matt, if you're standing first away on one of those far nodes, then it's gonna the Nergigante is gonna go for you. So, but yeah. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know that was a safe space, but I was gonna. I wanted to go here anyway, near his face. That was just you a massive nice coincidence. <laughs> that just happened to be the safest <laughs> spot as well. If you want to give him a hug, you can give him a hug. He's gonna yeah. run away pretty quickly I, afterwards. But I have heard it said that the closer we are to danger, the further we are from harm. So. Um... <laughs> Where did you hear that said? Um, <laughs> was it like a fortune cookie? It sounds like an inspirational it's, quote on a Facebook page. No, it's from, it's from um, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, well, egg on my face. <laughs> Matt, why didn't you instantly recognize that? Come on. Uh, I was too busy thinking about taking this punch to the face and trying to work <laughs> out if there was any way I could avoid it. Oh, no, Lowly. So, so you're, the best way to flying. You can, <laughs> okay, you can stand I'll nudge no can say that. On the same note as Lowly's. Yeah. Like, that's fine if we want to stack up. If you're a coward. That's fine. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I just, think if, if Matt is risking taking, I'm happy to taking go a hit anyway, here. then it's probably worth spreading out, but. I mean, like, they're all the same distance, right? These other nodes. Yeah, yeah. So that means Matt is, is kind of... So the only the only way we can avoid that is if Matt stands on the same node as Lowly's, and then he'll, you know, Gigante <laughs> well, will go with me. Go <laughs> that's no me. longer an option. <laughs> no, no, it's, you, you can stand on the same node uh, together. Oh, um, I suppose. So you can all stand together if you want to. The problem is, is that doesn't mean you definitely... Well, stand, all stand together would defeat the point of it, but... It doesn't mean that Nergigante will only go for its target. It just means that it's going to move towards or away from its target. Because it could, because some things like the example attack that we went through before off the, off the recording was that Nergigante could attack before it moves. And if it happens to attack in front of it, it's still going to hit the what we thought was a safe node. But we kind of have to try and piece that together because we know that Nergigante is going to attack with its tail. Mm -hmm. So it could be swiping behind it. It's hard to tell. Yeah. It, Matt, if you want to stand on the same node as Lowly's, I'm happy to to take one for the team. Yeah, that's um, fine. Let's let's spread gonna, out. I feel like that. I think Matt's sure. used to taking one for the team at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so if we're ready to go, uh, the next thing you need to do is just make sure you all draw your starting hand of cards. So if you go yeah. to the deck near the stamina board with the yellow bar across the back, I think me and you've already got your, your opening yeah, hand. Yeah, I'm already ready um, to roll. You are. So draw five cards and just place them. Um, what we tend to do is place them face up on the game board just so that everyone can see the cards you've got in your hand. Yeah, it's just a co-op game. You don't need to hide anything from us. Okay, there you go. And then once you've done that, I shall draw the first behavior for Nergagante and we're off. Okay. To be honest, it's probably a good idea you being that far away, Matt, because you're a ranged fighter, right? Isn't that what you do? Yeah, I got a bow. Yeah. Well, the rest of us, I think we need to be right up in. in is that what you, Nerg you're calling him? Yeah, Nerg, Nerg. Yeah. Nerg yeah. Puppy. Puppy. Yes. <laughs> Real friendly, like. Oh, yeah, we want to be right up in the grill. So. I've heard, like, as a genuine strategy, if you like, kind of a little bit of mockery goes a long way with confidence. So yeah, uh, yeah, cut them down. <laughs> belittle him a bit. Well, belittle that thing as much as you can belittle it. Um, so apparently, like, if I understand correctly from the sculpting team that, that kind of put the mod together for us, um, that this Nergigante is actually scaled down a bit. Five percent, because the collision detection on it at full size meant that you couldn't put a miniature within one node of him, because of how the collision detection was working. Mm. So this is smaller than the actual thing will be. Wow! Yeah, it's, it's too much of a chungus. Just yeah, that's our precious little baby. He's a chunky boy. Mm. So. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, see what your psychological warfare has done to Nergante to start off with. I've drawn a behavior card. I'm just going to flip this over. And if you want to double click on it to uh, have a good look at it, once I've flipped it, we'll see what the behavior is. So this is going to be sh straight off the bat a spinning bash, which is going to add four spike tokens to its behavior to its physiology card straight away. Whoa, what? Um, like cheating to me. Yeah. So I think it's just a bit more than half of its behaviors add spike tokens. So you've drawn one straight away. Um, good start. Awesome, good start. So we know it's going for the uh, furthest away hunter, which we know is going to be uh, Matt because he's got the highest threat, um, and it's going to move three nodes towards Matt. So Nergante is going to turn towards its target. Good um, it's going to move one node forwards. It's got two more to go, so it's going to push you off the node that you're on, and you can move back to one of the nodes that's in front of it. Uh, yep. I'll probably go this way. I yep. feel like there's slightly more space next to this enormous monster. I'm going to do that again. So you need to, you're going to get pushed back off that node once again. And yeah, that's it. Go further down the board, actually. Oh, You've got no, it. no, I'm miles away. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, it well, could be worse. <laughs> you could be Matt, who's just led me yeah, to, about to, to annihilate two people looking at what the attack does. So I'm going to try, I'm going to, try to get the miniature as close as I can, but the, but the oh. tabletopia collision detection, again, is going, to, is going to prevent me a little bit there. Yeah, you, yeah, you, need, you need to put your hunter down first. <laughs> it was because Nergagenti was balancing on just the very tip of my arrow, so I was like, I'll, I'll gently nudge it out of the way. We'll just spin you around but a little bit. It bodes well, though. If, if the arrows are that strong... <laughs> and down and they, no can hold a, yeah. they can hold the weight of this enormous beast okay go. so once the Gansai has finished their movement we then get onto the attack part of the behaviour um, which is going to be uh, 7 damage with a dodge of 4 so you do have I didn't actually explain armor before so you do have some armor you could resist the attack with um, so for your bow hunter Matt you actually have 3 points of armor at the moment so if this if you just took this attack and didn't dodge it you'd only be taking 4 damage and you have 8 health so it would it would only half knock you out I was going to say uh, that's pretty like quite a lot <laughs> it is yeah 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 um or if you wanted to dodge it, you could play four agilities worth of cards onto your stamina board. Uh, and you take no damage, but you've used up some stamina straight away. So which would you like to do? Uh, the other yeah. thing to take, bear in mind is if it does damage... Oh, no, it's just gonna, it's just going to cause damage. It's not going to do anything else. Okay, so it's just the damage you've got to worry about. I'll dodge. So I've got this charge sidestep. That's worth two. So I'll punk that down. And then blazing charge shot, which is also two. Okay, the other part of this behavior um, is that it actually has range too. So if I'm counting this correctly, I think it's also going to hit me in because it's going to oh. be quite a big wide <laughs> speaking arc. So you also oh. have to you also you also have to decide what you're going to do with the attack. Now you're a bit more lightly armored. You only have two armor, so you would take five from this one if you just if you just let it hit you. Yeah. Or you can play cards from your hand, and you need to play four agility worth of cards to dodge the attack. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know about you, but I prefer to not just be knocked down to like. What is it for like five health i'd have left you, you'd no you'd, got, you'd, you'd take five off you'd have three left oh 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 okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't worry like we're we are starting in a really good spot versus where we were with angina yeah if the last time we, <laughs> we, we had like two health each because of 
despite my attempted advice, everyone ignored it. It was like, no, let's keep jumping down holes. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was good fun. <laughs> so yeah. if, you're, if, if you're playing cast a dodge, what you need to do is take them and place them on your stamina board, starting from the left-hand ah, side. Got you. And we, right. yep. And we place those. We place those face down as well. That's just to right. show you haven't you haven't used them for the attack. Um, right. That should be four four agility's worth. Okay. Um, so you've dodged the attack. You don't take any damage, uh, and so have you, Matt. Now, because you've also played cards to dodge um, as part of the fact that you have actually rolled out of the way, if you want to use those cards to move, you because you've played four agility to dodge, you can also move up to four nodes right now before anybody else takes a turn. Um, you could so you could decide I'm going to be the one that's going to take a turn, so I'm going to roll closer to attack, or a bow hunter might want to roll further away because you know you've got a bow. Uh, <laughs> what is this so, blue? This blue thing. So that's a pond terrain node. If you walk into that, you're going to have to discard one of your damage cards me damage deck which because it's just damaging the sharpness of your weapon a little bit um oh, so, no. so they don't slow you down but but you've got to just have a think okay. if you really need to Rusty move through them sword. i am gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> move a space away <laughs> Lowly, who's this character <laughs> okay so i'll get i'll get nerg out of the way so you can yeah, place, place under the ring no problem. come on big boy move a little bit let me get in <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> oh whoa Oh no! Uh, you made the same mistake. Look, no, it's flying. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. God. Yeah, yeah. I'm flying. I'm Mia has climbed no. on its wing. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's not. It's right, not going to be perfect. We'll no, just. No, it's not going to be perfect. We'll just get as close as we can. It's fine. It's fine. That, just okay. leave it. It's fine if it's balanced yeah. on my sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna okay. be. It's gonna get well acquainted with it soon anyway. So definitely is. Wow. Very good. Okay. Yeah. So um. So that's the end of Nerg's turn. So what we do last is come back to that behavior card one more time, and it actually says it's going to allow three hunters to take a turn. Uh, after oh, it's yeah. done um and each one of you can play two attacks during your turn so who would like who do you think is in the best position to to take a turn so we need to be given that with the the spikes as they are just to explain i guess how the timing on this works when there is only one um spike token on a body part there isn't a huge amount we can do to to stop that with our breaking behaviors because the way it would work is you would break off that spike but then you would deal damage which would put another one on so that only really comes into effect once you are stacking additional tokens so if okay. there was a stack of three tokens you could break and then it would be down to two and you won't add another one so it only adds a token when it's the first time it's taking damage there when it doesn't have a spine token right so just as a consideration for the cards you play if you've already got break token cards in your hand it might be worth considering holding on to some of them so that after the next behavior, if that jumps up so that he would then have eight tokens, two on each stack, then we can jump on the opportunity with the break tokens. So it's not to say completely never use them for anything other than that, just food for thought moving yeah, forward. Just hold like off a little. Those yeah. break things have two jobs now, not just the one that they had when we were facing Angina. Um, okay. But... Uh, I think, I mean, I, I'm thinking the bow and jewel blades are in a good... I think the three of you are all in the best spot. I'm, I'm feeling like deja vu here where I'm going to be stood over the other side of the board doing nothing for a bit. <laughs> um, but I think you three are probably better positioned than I am. The next behaviour is going to be going for the furthest. So then he'll just come over to me and then I can whack him afterwards. Mm, mm. Yeah. I yeah. can, yeah, I'd be up uh, for using my cards if uh, you're happy with that. Yeah, so yeah I, go on, Matt. You guys but, decide between you what order right. you're going. But, but go uh, on. We have your bow. Yes, and also my poison coating. Uh, oh, that's the famous that, that was the line. Yeah, I remember it well. Yeah. So, <laughs> Jamie, is that one Lord of the Rings too? <laughs> uh, it's oh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My poison coating. Mm. Uh, so I'm going to put this poison coating on my arrow, uh, which lets me draw a damage card, uh, and also a poison and a break, which yeah. is what it is, but like having just spoken about breaking, but I'm more in it for the damage. Uh, sure. So I'm you gonna... don't do that yet. That will be... Uh, oh. To the... So that is like <laughs> additional... To the next, to the oh, next for game. the next attack card, yeah. My yeah, bad. yeah. I read so, I'll through the sentence. I got too excited by the idea of points of going. Uh, well, speaking of which, here comes a shot. Um, hey, oh. yeah, you won't throw away your shot. Mm. Well, I'm I'm throwing it away with the aid of a bow. 
Yeah. So uh, I get to draw a damage card. <gasps> of the shot, I get to draw which, an extra damage card. Part are you shooting? Oh at? yeah. Uh, let's go for face. Go for face. Okay. So he's right. currently fit, 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 three three armor on his face. So he's got that token on there. So that will be two damage that you deal from mm -hmm. your attack. So oh, is it, was there a poison poison coating you put on? There? Yeah, there is one poison. So that will pop a poison token on. Nice. Um, so he has a poison resistance of two. So we will need another one of those before the poison will trigger. But it's All it's right. on its way. Um, and then the break. We'll put a break token on his face, which will remove the token, but then you've dealt damage. So I'll come back on. Uh, all right. Yeah, so... two down, 83 to go. <laughs> That's that. And then so, I'm you... Gonna... Oh. so you can play you can play two attacks, two face up cards into your stamina board during your turn. So that was your poison card. Uh, uh... Um, you can yeah. still, if you want to play the other card, you can play it face down to move. You, I think you still have your walk to do as well, your, mm. your one node of free movement, but. In terms of attacks, that's all you can do for attacks for this Yeah, time. I forgot about the card limit. Okay, uh, I'm going to save that because it seems quite good, and I've still got my move, so I'm just going to move here. Yep. Okay, um, I'm just trying to have a look at your at your special abilities on your um, armor. There's nothing for movement. Okay, cool, that's fine. So uh, if, that's you, if that's you done, then we can end your turn. Uh, so if you like, I can draw you a time card. Uh, yes, please. I need to flip that over, don't I? Okay, so... The time card you've drawn is just a standard keep hunting. So you want to flip your hunter token face down, which you've done. Mm -hmm. uh, discard the rightmost card of your stamina board. Um, clear any cards from your hand that you don't want, and then draw back up to five cards. And that's the end oh, of your yeah. turn. Which hunter would like to go next? Oh. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> well, patient me, like, oh, oh. <laughs> Please, let me stab. Sure. Let me stab this monster. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to... I've got two attack cards here. You do. Um, which also add a, f a fire token, it looks like. Yes. So oh, how, yeah. that's, how it's going to work is, because you're already stood at range one, you're already one node away. We, we play these cards one at a time, uh, just because we'll resolve for oh. one, then move on to the next one. Um, so it, it won't matter for Nergante, it's just that for some... Um, monsters, you there's effects that trigger each time you play an attack, so it's best to do one card at a time, then move on to the next one. Okay, yeah, sure. So, um, first thing we need to do is draw two damage cards for you. If you want to draw two damage from your two cards, me damage deck, please. So, two, Hold two that's four. Now, damage. Look, look at the side. I, sh I should have asked you what body part you're attacking. So, you can from where you are, you can attack uh, its claws, which I think are armor three right now, or its wings, which are armor four. Um, and yeah, I don't think you've got a break token on your attacks, so it's mainly just where do you want to hit that's got the least armor, which would probably yeah, be I'll hit them claws. So okay. I can do at least one damage. You have done one toe. damage. Stab yeah. him in the toe. between the toes. Oh, oh yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's me. That would deal more mm. than one damage. So in between the toes, that's like... Mm. Mm. Because your, your attack uh, has fire elemental damage as well, you've also placed a fire elemental token on its oh. uh, physiology card. It's got resistance too, so if you place another one, you'll deal fire ele elemental damage. Oh. Luckily, Bumbly you look like enough. you've got another one in your hand. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to do that, so I will place that here. Very good. So draw another another two damage cards. Nice. nice. Yeah, I'm so attacking, I'm attacking them claws again. I'm doing so it. two damage so far after its armor. Now because you've placed you've do, you've dealt elemental damage, you need to draw from this elemental damage deck just over here where my blue hand is floating around. Uh, and one. that's bon that's bonus damage. Oh, the, the, there is a four in there. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> we're drawing a one. So you've done three damage total after its armor. Oh, just to make you feel better about that, there is a four in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't draw it. <laughs> well done, but you could have done way better. Yeah, you could have done way better. Bad. Nice try. Um, <laughs> fine. So, even Tough. though you've played two attacks, you still have a faint card in your hand, which because it doesn't have a yellow stamina bar, you can play it in addition. It doesn't cost any stamina to play. Oh, that, um, you know what? We, we've devised that um, Nerg is going to go after... Um, Alex, big big sword man, right? We yep. think that's what's going to happen. Probably. Uh, so I might move in anticipation of that. Sure. Using this card, right? And I get one move straight up as well, right? Well, you because of the armor you've got, your An Anjanath male, uh, it's got, you've got a special rule there called Marathon Runner, which says when you walk, you can move two nodes instead of one. So you can move ah. two nodes without spending any cards at all. Fast, right. Uh... Oh, <laughs> sorry, let me just walk along your wing, right? <laughs> uh, I'm going to run there, and then I'll also run... Let's go here. 
Ah, oh, okay. Well done. Straight into the fray. If if we think it's attacking, if it does a ranged attack, where would I need to be to kind of be? You, yeah, you probably don't want to stand too close to Alex in case you get caught in like a big sweeping arc of what he's going to yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, would do you think here would be would be okay? Or... That's probably that's probably a bit safer. Yeah, it's a bit safer than where okay. you are. Nice just... and central because you know with the, basically where you want to be putting yourself with that special rule where you get to move two for your walk. Like if you're hanging pretty central, you'll probably be in range to be able to get to pretty much wherever you want to be within that two move walk. Mm. And also like I will, when he comes for me, if he comes in really quick, I can try and be mindful as to where I'm moving to try and kind of set him up in a good spot for other people to jump on him Fact. while hopefully avoiding you getting hit as well. I might so. go here as soon as I can run so far. So I will, let's say I, I went like this. Whoop, whoa, whoa. And then I'm here. It's this pile of bones. Very acrobatic. Yes. I imagine I, like I flipped the, the entire yeah. way. I'm, in, I'm into the role play of it. Yeah, so. yeah, I flipped on the wing and I, then I I'm flipped off. That you're lying like that you haven't played this before because that was <laughs> that was pretty well done. Well, you know, pick pick it up fast. But, but so, so would Maybe. you like to do you want to play your faint card for anything? Because uh, you can still uh, use it to discard cards or you can just uh, keep all that in your hand. Oh, I'm going, ooh, I can get, I can get cards off my stamina meter, right? You can. I might just use it for that, yeah. Okay, so we discard that. So we're going to put it next to where you draw your attack cards from, just where my blue hand is floating around. And then you can discard any two cards from your stamina board. Um, um, so you, you, it's probably a good idea to get rid of the face down ones. Um, okay. And that's for a reason we haven't explained yet, which is to do with right. how you combo attacks together. Um, ah, gen gen generally, it's better to keep your face up ones on the stamina board. And what they do right. now is they they just slide down to the left. Okay. Oh, to the left, to the left. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Board. So uh, if that's the end of your turn, the last thing we need to do is draw a time card for you. So we've drawn a brief respite. That's quite helpful, actually. So the first oh. thing you need to do is flip, flip your hunter token face down. So the green star with the six on it. Oh. Oh my goodness! How do I do that? Oh, there you press go. F. There you go. Yep. Um, you need to discard one attack card from the rightmost slot of your stamina board, so the the next card in your stamina board gets discarded as well. Nice. Um, if there's any cards left in your hand, there aren't any. Um, so then you just draw from your attack deck until you've got five cards in your hand again. Oh. Um, in addition oh. to that, brief respite says if you want to, you can discard another card from your stamina board, which is probably not a bad idea. Yeah. Hell I'm yeah. I will take that opportunity very quickly. If you want to um, bring your camera over to my side of the, uh, the board. Flying um, over. And then <laughs> have a look at one of my jumping jumping slash cards. I'll very quickly talk you through what Jamie was referring to in regard to the face up cards. So if you have a look at that card, you'll see that in the bottom right hand corner, there's a, excuse me, two seconds. Ah. I'm sure everyone doesn't want to hear me clear my throat. Um, there's a two in there. But that basically means I can't play this card unless there are two face-up cards ahead of it. So that is a combo card. You'll also notice that it has got um, goes into kind of an orange point at the end of the stamina bar. That means it is a finisher. So that would mean that that would immediately end my turn after I use that. So when I'm planning, when I want to use that, I want to be saving that as the absolute last thing I want to use. Um, so in the case of the weapon I'm using, in when I have a choice like Brief Respite to clear cards, I may not want to because Greatsword kind of builds up to these massive finishers. So okay. for me, it can be beneficial to keep face-up cards on there, even though it's a risk because it means I've got less dodging. Mm -hmm. Whereas for Dual Blades, you're much more specialised at a lot of quick hits rather than these massive combos that lead to a big finisher. So yeah. with your primary defense being dodging, you kind of want to keep your your bar as empty as possible. But yeah, I do the that's quick there. stabs. That's how the, uh, that's the, flips that's how the combo thing yeah. works. I think you do have one or two of those, but not as many as I do, I don't think. No okay, name. so uh, yeah, there's one, there's one more player turn to go. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking, because I'm quite far away. And I'm gonna have to move three to get beside the monster, right? One, two. I think it's a minimum movement of three. 
Yes. And I only get one free movement, so I'm going to have to, what, discard two cards to... Well... So you can play cards. You can play cards onto your stamina board to move, um, but it, it's based on the agility value. So if you've got any cards with agility two, which I think you do, you've got a glutton lateral slash there, um, yeah. which has got agility two. So you can play that one, which moves you two spaces, but it is quite a good attack. Yeah, that's the thing. I'd rather keep it as an attack card. Sure, um, and so that's I'm reasonable. I'm wondering if it might make more sense for Alex to go after all because we're the same distance, but Alex has got like better cards overall. I think. I don't know. Yeah. It was just me. Because you've got like a charge up, for example, which I don't know. So the main the main thing to bear in mind as well is just remember that Nergagate is gonna go for whoever's the furthest hunter away at the end of the at the end of these turns as well. Yeah. Um I'm just I'm having to look at my cards and your cards to try yeah. and figure out what I think is the is the right way to go. Because, I mean, if I have to use two cards to move, that's all of my cards, right? Because I'm only allowed to play two cards. For sure, sure. So, so I, can, I, you, I can... You can, you can, you can play cards... You can play cards to move in addition to attacking. Um, it's just that it would fill up your stamina board. That's all. So, so yeah. when you're playing cards face down, you, you can play all the cards you want to get there as long as you've got space for it. Right. And you can then still play two attacks when you get to the other side of it. Gotcha. I can, I can go in. I can get there by only having to use one card, and I'm happy to use one of those, so... Okay. We'll, we'll change the plan slightly and uh, you can be a bit more defensive. Yeah, I can. Um, I mean, he'll by and he's going to come towards me. That, no, I guess he'll, either way, he'll come towards my direction either after that or yeah. uh, he'll kind of be in my oh. vicinity after that. I think it'll be a bit better. Yeah. In that so, case, all, all my efforts to try and get in a position, <laughs> I'm going to be You'll be fine. It's um, fine. So. I'm going to do the thing that I would never advise to anybody ever using the great sword. And because it's the, like the shortest route, I'm going via a pond node, which means ah. I have to discard one of these. Please don't be a big <laughs> Okay. I can deal with, I can deal with that. It's a two. Um, then I'm going to use one of my jumping slashes uh, face down to move an additional node. Um, and I'm going to move into I'm on that node there. You don't need to worry about moving him. Um, and then it's, is it two cards, Jamie? You get two cards that I can play? Good facts. Um, I'm going to go with charge up into a rising slash. So I can't play that jump in slash because the, the, the combo in the bottom right means two face up cards specifically, not just two cards. So... I don't meet the uh, the requirement to play the other one, so I'm going to go with a rising slash. Oh wait, hang on, no, yeah. I'm lying. I can use it. Mm -hmm. I can use it. I'm going to use the jumping slash. I remembered now. So um, no, I'm going to hang on. Give me two seconds. You're, you're thinking of two different things. You, so you can't play the jumping slash, card. right? Because it's because card. because charge up it doesn't count towards the number of attacks you can make. Yes. I knew there was a plan where I can do all of this. I was just yeah. trying to rattle through it. In brain. That's what you're missing. Um, so as Jamie just said, charge up does not count towards the two card limit that is set by the monster behavior. Um, and it means that I will get an additional part break, though, as discussed, part break doesn't really do a huge amount for us at this point in time. Um, so I get my two, my two damage cards from um, Rising Slash, is it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, yes. Wow, nice. Whoa, whoa. So just a cheeky six damage, which will go down to. Is it two? Yep. Yep. Because he's got four armor on his tail currently because it's three natively and he's got a spike on there. Can chop it off. But because charge up does not contribute to the maximum cards allowed, I've still got one additional I can play. Oh, there's. A, are you handling oh, those breaks? Oh, yeah, I've got them. Thank you. So I've still got a card I can play, and I now have two face-up cards. So I'm going to go ahead and dump a, a jumping slash. So I lose out on a bit of damage. Uh, sorry, a bit of um, stamina recovery because it's not in the fifth slot, but I'll take it for some extra damage at this point. So that'll be another two cards and another break token going on there. And his tail. Whoa. Nice. That'll be unfortunately only one because of the spike token. One damage, but damage is okay. damage at this point. Mm. Trickling him down. Mm. 
you're, you're and, turning that tail into a, a kebab. Yeah, we'll get it. Off. <laughs> we'll get it off. So the tail's a good one to go for because if I can get that tail off, then it reduces the range of his tail behaviors by one. And a lot of his tail behaviors, if not all of his tail behaviors, are at least range two, which means it's quite hard to maneuver him around when he's attacking to avoid him hitting other people. So getting that gone will be extremely useful. Um, and that is my turn. Jamie, can you grab me a, a time card? I can indeed. For no other reason than I'm extremely you, lazy. You've got to keep hunting. You've got to keep hunting so it's the standard yeah. stuff. Cool, cool. So if I flip my token over, I get rid of that card. And then I'm going to hold on to my greatsword block. Um, and then I will just draw up. And that is... Uh, so we're back uh -huh. to Nergigante, who's going to go for Lolise, I think. because I believe, he's... before we do that, that's everybody gone now, right? So we all flip yeah. our hunter tokens. Uh, Lolise hasn't been yet. Oh, sorry. Yep, oh, yeah, I haven't been yeah. Okay, so uh, the next attack for Nergigante is going to be Horn Gouge. So it's going to move four nodes oh. towards its target. So I'll turn straight towards it, Lolise, and it's going to come straight at you. So one, two, it's going to push uh, Mian out of the way. So you can move back onto the same node. You can, so what you can move back to is you can move back to the same node as Lolis. You can move to this pond node here where my blue hand is, or you can move to this node up here. You can you're basically somewhere in its front arc. Um. So one of these. Okay. If I go into the pond node, will it damage my weapon? It will. Yes. Oh, screw that. Go in <laughs> skeleton. A skeleton okay. ball pit. It looks like. So, so steps to here, and then it's going to push Lolis off the node you're on as well. So you're going to get pushed to where my blue hand is here, here, or here. I'm gonna go here. Okay, I'm just gonna turn <laughs> just that camera. Dead ahead of it, nice. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna. To be fair, it's gonna look at you no matter, no matter where you're going. Uh, yeah. Okay. You might as okay. well stare it down. Yeah. Oh. Okay, and when Nerg has finished his move, we've then got uh, a nine damage attack to do. Uh, oh. Uh... What? I don't know why you're excited about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it, is, it, is, oh, yeah. It, it, it is only going to hit the lease, um, and but luckily it is a little bit easy to dodge. It's dodge three. So you can either take it on your armor. You do have four points of armor, so you take five damage, um, or you can try and dodge it for three dodge, three agility. Um, if you just take the damage, it's going to stun you as well, which is going to force you to play a card from your hand face down to get rid of one of your cards. Right, well, then I might as well use some agility, right? Yeah, that um, probably makes sense. Oh, man, I really don't want to use my, my nice attack right here. Yeah, the one with the three on it. Mm. Um, Should I, would that be bad to just use three cards? Um, not necessarily, because as you say, that glutton lateral slash, if you want to protect it, is a very good card to keep hold of. So you could, ju you could keep glutton lateral slash and shield bash. They look like your best two. And then get rid of the other three. That wouldn't be a bad call. Or you know, you could you you're on the toughest hunter. You could just take the damage. I'm gonna use some cards. Sure. Three, three you said. Right? Okay. Three. Three. Yep. And you can move up to three nodes if you want to, but you're also taking the turn next, so you might also be already where you want to be. I'm gonna stay here. I'm just gonna say, yo. I'm gonna like be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, I think you should revert back to your previous statement and just say yo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so this is going to allow two hunter turns. So it's going to allow you to go next, Lolise, and then any one of the uh, any one of you to go after that because all of you will have taken a turn, and you can play up to two attacks. Luckily, you have two cards in your hand. Lolise, do it. Okay. Uh, you may do. Yeah, sure. I'll play this one first. Let's start small. Yep. Um, and so that's just one attack card, right? Uh, one damage card, yeah. One damage card, sorry. And onto his face. Onto his face, yeah. Two. I'll give him a little. So, I'll give him a little slap on the nose. Yep. So that's <laughs> reduced to a minimum of one. So you've done one damage to him. So he's down to seventy-five. Perfect. That was exactly what I was hoping for. And then, <laughs> uh, do so, do the glutton lateral slash, and I'm gonna draw three damage cards. Whoa. And he's gonna go sleepy. Such a glutton for Whoa. smashing, Lolis. Whoa! Seven. Seven damage. He's got. I think he's got three armor on its face. Yep. So four damage goes through. Um, I and with the uh, the dial, by the way, I meant to pick up a token and scrolled on the dial when I was zooming in. So if the number was wrong, that's my bad. Can't remember where we were. I think, I think it was we're on seventy-five, and I think yeah. I scrolled it up. Okay. To 
77. Sure. So we're down at 71 now. You've also put a sleep token on him. Um, so yes, so Nergante is resistance two to sleep. So if you can do that again, it'll send him it'll send Nerg to sleep for a turn. Oh, okay. I love the idea. Starving is go to sleep. Just giving it a little rub. Just a little rub on the side. I also love that it's lowlies of all people putting him to sleep. Yeah. It's, well, sleep. Right. When we play D and D, yeah. sleep is is my thing that I do all the time. Mm. Casting sleep. This is true. Um, thematically appropriate. It was written. So, I get to discard this, right? It says you do you discard this. Okay. Yep, so you can put it straight in your discard pile, and then the glutton lash slash just shifts down a little bit. Um, do you want to move at all? Do you still have your walk that you can do? Oh yeah. Um, I <laughs> will move. Sure, I will move. So where no, will I move to? You ask. Um, no, Gigante's next behavior is going to hit the closest. It's going to target the closest hunter. Well, I mean, I can't get away from from him, unfortunately. But uh, I'll just step over here. <laughs> Slowly, just like <laughs> me going on my stupid little walk. <laughs> so I'll we'll draw you a time card. Thank you. Because um, I'm guessing that's the end of your turn. So you've got also just to keep hunting. So if you want to flip your um, hunter token face down, and then discard the rightmost card for your stamina board, mm -hmm. um, and then you haven't got any cards in your hand to, in your hand to discard anyway. But then just draw from your attack deck back up to five cards in your hand. Cool. Thank you. Tabletopia is trying to make your attack deck disappear. Yeah, yeah you got it. Tabletopia is working against us. Yeah, Nerf died. Okay, uh, now because all of the hunter tokens are face down, they all get flipped face back up again, and now any of you can take a turn. So you've got one more hunter turn to take. In theory, you could have Lolly's go again, just to demonstrate that it can <gasps> be any of you. There's no, there's no set player order. I could go again. I've got the sleepy time attack again. Do you? That'd be really yeah, good to play. Go for it. I think that'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Um, really good. And then, what? What? Can you remind me what the box, the thing with the four boxes means again? Oh, that's well, not move, that right? Yeah, that's meant to look like a, a video game control pad. So that would be a bonus point of movement. I okay. And then, what does the one mean where it's in the middle, where the numbers in the middle? Uh, you can move in any direction. Okay. Any direction with it. Okay. So well, I'm gonna play. Let's play the glutton lateral slash first and see see what happens. Very good. So three. Oh, oh man. We're excited to find out what sleep does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when when a sleep triggers on a monster, as it just oh. has, when they do Oof. their next behavior, you only resolve the last two symbols. So basically, he's not gonna move. He he's not gonna do an attack. We, and then we just get to go immediately again. So oh, amazing. Very, nice. Very I've done eight damage sneeze. as well. Whoa, nice. Lonely's house. Oh. Is that it? <laughs> Should, we just, oh, yeah. Should we just go? Yeah, I'll just kick back over here. <laughs> just like, good job, Lonely's. Yeah. So we'll drop Merc down to 66 health. That's good going so far. Okay. Well, that was only my okay. first attack. So just, just saying. Wow, I'm, that was I'm only just, my first attack. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, no biggie. Just saying. Um, cool. And then I'd actually, I think I'm going to do this one. This seems like a good one to do because I can uh, do two attack and then move out of the way. Yep. Um, where's, your, where's your damage deck gone? It, seems uh, it to disappeared. disappeared. Help. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Get it back. Okay. Thanks. Um, two and three. Uh, it's just three. So, yeah, that'll just be one damage reduced by its armor. Burns. So, down to 65. And then I take another step over here. That yes. Uh, and you still have a walk for this turn as well, um, oh. I think. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll walk over here. Oh, under his wing. Okay, so we'll draw you another time card. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. <gasps> so we've got threat shift. So um, the usual stuff of flip your token face down, discard one card for the right most slot of your stamina board. Um, send any cards in your hand you don't want, discard them. And then draw back up until you've got five in your hand. After that, all of your threat tokens are going to get passed around the table to your left. So you're all going to change threat now. Here you go. Now, the thing to bear in mind is if the token you had was you could activate, it's got to face the same direction. So you don't, if you were unactivated, you don't get to suddenly activate. It's got to face the same way as it was earlier. I don't know if I explained that very well. So no, I, am I, the, I am now the most threatening. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I am the second most. 
How do I um how do I pick up all my cards in Tabletopia again? I've forgotten. So I'll Alex, so would you mind shift. sorting that out for us whilst I sort Nerg's next behaviour? Like shift click. So you oh, yeah. over and then okay. select them all, though I'm awful yeah. at stacking things Thank up. Thank you. Oh, wait. I guess that just stays there anyway, it doesn't Oh Nerg is asleep. I popped the sleep token on there to remind us that he only does the last two things on yep. that card. Sleepy bye-bye. So uh, swipe right, it's just going to be two hunters get to go. It would have been an eight damage attack to to probably two or three people at once, uh, but this is going to be uh, just two hunters to go and you can play two attacks each. Right. Hey, nice. you're welcome. Lovely old job. <laughs> okay, um, so who have we got? So I think you're in a that's really me. good spot. Oh, that's you. I'm right here. <laughs> you're over here. I'm right over here under the wing. I think you're a good shout, me. Yeah. I yeah. Think, I think it's probably going to be you and Matt. Yeah, I could do some poison damage, I reckon. Ooh. Yeah. So if we, it's up to you in the order in which you want to go for it, but I think you two are the play. Matthew so Jarvis, Hello. shoot that poison arrow through that, that ner <laughs> nerf's heart. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll go first then. Uh -huh. uh, I will. <laughs> uh, I will poison the coat. I'm going to poison coat like so. Uh, so it does exactly what I did last time. I'm just a big fan of poison over here. Uh, and then, you know what? I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna use dragon piercer because I do have enough cards to pull it off. Nice. So that lets me draw three damage cards Whoa, plus the one backwards. from the coating. Wow! But do you have to move first and then do that? Uh, if if you were going to use the movement, you would move first, but it's optional. So be, even though it says to move backwards one, you don't have to. You could just stay still. But, uh, but you would you would have to do it first. Yeah, the range on it is free, so I might as well move away. Sure, I can still hit it from over here, and then I'm not not putting myself in harm's way. You know, yep. just see uh, Matt running into a bush. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Then you see a big old arrow come out. Yeah, fly out. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, so I Whoa. did 10 damage plus a poison plus a break. Okay, so what? where you are, I think, I think you're hitting Nerg in the tail. And the tail at the moment is armor yeah. four. Okay, so we're doing six damage mm. overall. That feels all right. Nice. Oh, wow. So um, down to 50, 59. And he is poisoned, so he will lose two health at the end of his next turn. Yeah. Nice. Oh. So I shall go ahead and pop. Well, that. it's we not nice because we we missed the best number. This. Poison does say. stay on there, is it, or does no, it, it go away go. after that? It will go away. So it will trigger okay. and go away. Yeah, can say because otherwise we can just works. kind of run away a bunch and watch it. <laughs> just kite him around. Yeah. But like, there's been some really fun games we've had where like they have like one or two health left. They are poisoned, but we only have one faint left and no potions. So it's like, we just have to survive the next attack and we win. But if we die before the end of this attack, we lose. So poison can get to some pretty terrifying situations, but that's why it's at the end of their next turn. So mm. it's still like, you've still got to live long enough for it to proc. Yeah. Okay, so... It's not going to move, is it, this turn? So uh, it, It's sleeping at the moment, so in, in its next behavior, it's going to wake up and do an act normally. Right. Uh, oh. All right, I'll stay here for the moment, then I won't use my movement. Okay, so should we draw you a time card? Mm-hmm. Okay. So your time card is a keep hunting, so yes. the standard stuff. So if you want to flip your hunter token face down, those... discard the rightmost card for your standard board, and get rid of any cards you don't want, and then draw back up to five. Those... And I believe you have one more hunter turn before Nerd goes again. Hey. <laughs> uh, there's this demon mode card, which sounds pretty damn good. Yeah, so so what I was saying before about, say, his greatsword hunter, that he specializes in doing lots of damage towards the end of his stamina board, you're the opposite way around. Because of demon mode, you specialize in playing certain cards right at the beginning of your stamina board. Demon mm. mode's a great example of that. So that's a great one to, to put down straight away. Yeah. Uh, does it count as one of my... It does, yeah. Cards, okay. So I'm going to play demon mode. Plus two. Um, I will, yeah, I'm just going to go for it and play this, nice. this blazing double slash. Oh my god, Ooh. this is going to be incredible. Yeah. So um, I draw three plus two and there's a fire 
Whoa. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Thanks you're going to do... Nicholas you're going to draw... Really cute in this, by the way. <laughs> very, very cute. Wish we'd take credit for that, but it's taken straight from the video game. <laughs> Seven, nine, Whoa. eleven. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. And where are you right now? You're hitting it in the claws, I imagine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Just keep stabbing them claws. <laughs> yeah. So pesky Lego brick. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's got three armor in its claws. So you've done eight damage, I think, with that attack. Mm. Wow. Nice. nice. So far, very good. Down to fifty-one. Ah, uh, it's basically dead, isn't it? We might as well call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> He's wow, almost something. half dead, and we've definitely not got most of our stamina board speed. We'll be fine. The other thing to bear in mind is a number of you have got quite low damage decks at this point, yeah. so you're going to want to start considering mm. when you need to sharpen. Uh, I need to sharpen oh, on my next turn, I think. Mm. Um, so those are my two actions. I have a movement of two. Yeah, yeah. you can move two nodes, yeah. Okay, and what what is what is our Nerg friend? What are they attacking next? Do we know? So the the back of uh, Nerg's behavior deck shows that Nerg's going to attack the furthest away hunter next time. So at the I'm moment, gonna that's squat, gonna be I'm going to squat here then. <laughs> Reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, a time card. Like, hmm, I probably shouldn't have stepped away. <laughs> <laughs> So this, so this is another keep hunt, another keep hunting. So just uh, drop your um, hunter token face down. Okay. Uh, and then discard a right hand card from your stamina board. Uh, discard any cards from your hand that you don't want and draw back up to five. Uh, these all seem relatively okay. And draw one no before drawing damage cards. If you do, draw minus one. Yeah. I'm currently. Well, just I've got two of the same card. Okay, I'm going to discard one of them. So something to bear in mind is um, break tokens. Like I think you're okay getting rid of that one, but we do need to be careful on those break tokens. Oh, it had a break around. token on it. I didn't see that. Looking it's around, got, we're it's the gray. It's the gray cross at the bottom of the middle. All right, okay. We're I'm starting going to get a to... bit Ooh, thin God. on break tokens, and I'm aware yeah, that the last few behaviors were, right. that were not on. spiky behaviors. So the chances of those coming up is totally keep, increasing. Hey, even if yep. you keep this. You, yep. you still draw this card, so you can just hold on to that. Oh, okay. Because you draw yeah, back okay. up to five. Yeah. I'm going to keep that. So, all oh, right. Yeah, I'm drawing back up to five. I forgot. So I've got Nergal okay. as ne next behavior. So this is oh. going to be a ground plunge. So it's going to attack before it moves. It's going to hit in front of it, to the left, and to the right of it at range one. So it's going to hit uh, me and I think and nobody oh. else. Oh. <laughs> um, it's one of those um, lovely ones. stuff. It's one yeah. of those sneaky ones where he attacks before he moves. So we planned around. Oh, it's just going to go for Matt, and then no, he attacks first because he's. Come on, he's look at that like juicy that. archer over there. That's what you get for trying to leave me to my doom. <laughs> you want to have a bite of that? <laughs> so this is um, going to be seven damage attacks. So if you take oh. this through your army, you'll, you'll take five, uh, and it's dodge of five to be able to avoid it. Oh my good! You will load us lots. You'll be uh, fine. And oh. if it damages you, if, if it damages you, it's going to stun you as well. By the way. Oh, that's fine. good. Okay. Well, I suppose I've got to dodge it then. I'm going to use this round slash, which is two. This rapid yeah. spin, which is also two. And um, I, I want to keep these break ones, don't I? Blech. Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of one of these to survive. Okay, and because you played five agility to dodge, you can you can move five nodes if you want to. Okay, uh, I might move. And it's still going to be moving toward. Oh, is it going to be moving towards? No, it's going to be moving away from Matt. So it's actually going to be on the board edge in a minute. On the board edge? Yeah. Okay. So I will. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go maybe over here. I don't know. I'm going to go over here. Okay. Because my stamina is quite full anyway. So. So it's going to turn towards Matt. Mm. That, and it's going to step back away because for some reason Matt may be particularly yeah, scary to know Gunter right now. Back away. It's got, <laughs> it's got quite a few arrows. Seen the size of my bow. And it's gone right oh, to the corner. Huge. Mm, I'm going to be really honest here. Part of me is really praying. So it does have spikes on it. So he's going to go up to eight spike tokens now. Yep. So we need to ideally get those below six, if possible. Because okay. I love the visual right now of him lining up for a dive bomb 
I don't know if that is how it's going to plan out, but if it does, yeah. he, part he, of he, he will be very happy. <laughs> Mercante is not retreating. That's a run up. Um, <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> okay, so at the end of Nergante's turn, take two more damage to the poison drops. Nergante down to 49. Yeah. Uh, and then you have, I think it's two hunter turns to go before mm -hmm. die, before you got to get those uh, spike tokens off or dive is going to trigger. Yeah, one of them is Alex, right? Yes, one of them has to be Alex. What? What? Hang on, back up. What? Oh, there uh, is. Uh, uh, SFG Alex. Okay. <laughs> SFG Alex. Remember the rule, me and Yeah, me I know. <laughs> I started to panic when the, the words dive bomb and Alex were using <laughs> the same sort of area. Okay, yeah. So, so is it I've I've got to go as one yes. of these two? Yes. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out the the right play because I'm because he's backed off. He's like doing a good job of running away from me at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be honest. Part of me is tempted, if it's okay with you guys, to do what Lowly's did a few turns ago. Though it will be a bit less juicy than when Lowly's did it, where I take one turn to just take the free move, get a spot off my stamina board gone, and then take a second turn once all of our tokens have flipped over to then move in. Because sure. I'm very wary of how scary everything's about to get, but I don't yeah, want to it, kind bro. of take over, but if that's okay with you mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, yeah. Mm, do it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take a free move to there because I really don't want to walk in this pond because I've got some four damage cards in my deck and I haven't seen any of them yet, and I'd rather not throw those away. Um, and then do I or do I not want to back off? It's going to attack the closest person next turn, right? So, yes. So, yeah, if you want to move even closer, like, you know, yeah, I guess. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure <laughs> well, out it's two cards or three If, if Nurk does dive, dive is actually going to go after the furthest away hunter. Just <laughs> <laughs> got, to, got to deal with that little problem. Um, so, Rising Slash is one I definitely can't get rid of. Um, though looking through my cards, maybe it might be wise that I don't take two turns here. If there is someone that has the space, I actually think we're just eating a dive and there's nothing we can do about it. Because everyone else, the only people that have two dodge on their two um, break cards in their hands at the moment all have four cards on their stamina board. Aww. I don't think any of us are in a position to put two break tokens on him. Aww. So we are taking a dive and there's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> oh, well. So, so apart from, is potion the only way that you can get rid of stamina cards or what was the other way? So you've got the potions, you have some different stamina uh, cards like the faint card that um, the bow and jewel blades have. You've got some cards in your deck, which are you remove them as soon as you've played them. So that's like the sword yeah. and shield version of quicker stamina recovery. And then you've got the one card that you take off at the end of your turn. Um, I believe there are also some of the time cards have an effect where you get to remove more cards off, but we haven't had one of those yet. Oh, no, we did. Um, me and had one of those earlier. I think the card's called Brief Respite. That's it. Where she was able to take additional cards off. So there's a few ways there, but none of them are going to come around quick enough. <laughs> mm. um, so if it's okay with you guys, I'll stick to the plan and just go in and try and do some big damage, yeah. knowing that he's not going to go streaking across the board and probably kill Matt. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's okay, Matt. Just accept the inevitability of death. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to discard a Blazing Slam card, I think, for that two. Yep. I'm going to get rid of one of those. Well, not discard it, sorry. I'm going to place it face down on my stamina board to then go one, two. Gone. Thank you. I won't move in too close because I know it'll be a nightmare when you've got a dive bomb him across the thing. <laughs> um, and then I'll end my turn there. Jamie, if you can do me the honours of a time card, please. Yes, I can. Do you have drawn a keep hunting? Okay. Um, I, I'm going to get rid of Tackle, which might sound crazy, but he's actually immune to stun damage. So I don't think Tackle's all that useful for me. So I'm, I'm going to get rid of that one in, in this instance so that I can hopefully draw into some nice, big, juicy damage cards. 
Um, a tackle and a true charge slash. Okay. I, I got what I was. I got what I was fishing for. Um, so I am going to start off with a. Do, 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 do. Your reset right uh, tokens. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sorry. And then, assuming that's still okay with everyone, I'll jump straight into a go second. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm, do it. So I'm just trying to figure out if there's much point in using that rising slash that has the break token on it because it. The one thing I didn't explain about the spikes is after he does the dive bomb, all of the spike tokens come off. Okay. Mm. So I'm kind of tempted to not bother using it because unless I want to put a break token on for the effect of breaking a body part, I'd rather save it. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to go for a, uh, a blazing slam. So just the one damage card. Just a um, blazing slam. Like nothing. But it, but it will mean that the elemental damage triggers as well, because that'll be the second one of those gone on. So it's two damage, so only one damage from the the actual physical hit itself. And okay. then from the elemental hit is a one. Oh. <laughs> it's fine, clearing out those ones. It's okay. Get them out of the way for later. Clear those out of the way. Um and then Obviously, I can play three cards, but I don't have enough room on my stamina board to play three cards, so I'm not going <laughs> to do that. But I am going to play... Ooh. Do it! No, do I'm going it. for it. I'm going to go with True Charge <laughs> no Slash. So um, it's, two attack, it's two cards, but because it's in the fifth slot of my stamina board, I get to draw four cards. Nice. Yes! And I haven't drawn any fours yet, so this could be massive. <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Four fours in a row. Come on. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. Oh. 11. 13. Wow. Um, so he does have is it two tokens on there. So he's currently yeah. armor four. So unfortunately, I only did nine damage. Um, <laughs> nine. nine. Great sword things. No, wait. 38. 38. We're absolutely yeah. nailing this. And that was in the, was in the head <laughs> for the break tokens, Alex. Uh, there was, but there were no, were no okay. Tokens, okay. No. okay. Um, and that's uh, that's a turn ending card, so I, I have to end right. there. So, do Jamie, these, get, do these fire tokens, tokens go or do they stay there? Yes, they'll go away now, so they get moved off, ready for hopefully another two to be put on. Okay, so you've drawn a tactical shift, so um, so it's all of the usual stuff to any turn, and then up to two of you can move one node each. Mm. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Am I going to be in the firing line for this dive bomb? No, you're right beside I'm over him. here. Yeah. You're probably you're probably fine. Okay. Matt's on the other hand is not fine. Um, <laughs> I am. Am I able to outrun it? No. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Can't outrun um, the dive bomb. Matt. While you guys are sorting that out, I will be back in two seconds because, as is tradition, my doorbell's just gone. Oh. <laughs> just, just, it, just embrace the dive bomb, Matt. Just so you it... are, you are going to get hit by it. But as, as just try because we haven't shown you the behavior yet. Just try to adopt mm. our general monster Hunter world principles, which is a lot of the attacks are sweeping arcs. So if someone's going to get hit, probably just don't be anywhere near anybody else. Mm. Yeah, well, I think there's no if there's not much point in me moving, if it comes in a straight line at me, I might as well just stand where I am. Okay. Um, if anybody else? Towards him, though, yeah, that's that not a bad idea. Other people won't need to move so far to get to him next time. That's a good idea. Oh, you're true. right. I'll move, I'll move one if everyone's happy with me using one of those moves. Yeah. Does it, um, anybody else need to move one of those movements? Um, I think if I move closer, I'll get. I'll just put myself in danger. <laughs> yeah, I'll be dive bombed. I agree. Uh, I'm probably just going to yeah, stay like where I am. Like how just like agreed that I'm now the debate for Matt? this. It's kind of like a widely acknowledged fact. Remember, like, remember the words of Snake Eater. I you give can eat my a life. Frog? Oh right, Not yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might feed on a tree frog. That's the one that. I <laughs> so, <laughs> interestingly, just counting the number of nodes between you all, actually, the, the moment with where you stood, Lolise is the one that's going to yeah. get hit by the dive. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, I, I'll move on. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, and 
And because of the threat tokens you all have, you're actually now you're equidistant to there because you're still going to get hit by the dive. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so what? at this point, there actually is a lot of choice here. So, so Matt, do you actually do you all think right. you should? Be, you actually have a choice. No, who's going to take it? I'll back up. I'll who's got the better down. armor though? Let's see. Who's got the better armor? So uh, Matt has three armor and full health. I think Lolis, you have four armor and full health. Oh, um, I think then Loli. That sounds like a you, Lolis. <laughs> but I also have been doing more damage, so I think <laughs> that we should keep me alive so I can take care. Uh, <laughs> whoever, whoever, if if someone is knocked out, remember they are going to come back to the game board. It's later not like in the you would be gone forever. Can I you play yeah. faint out of my turn? Uh, no, that's something you do during your turn. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hello, ladies. What? It's fine. You've I'll got take it. Better armor. I'll take it. It's fine. So just can't, just this is what people one, think two, of when they think of three, the bow hunter yeah. is oh, being up close and personal with a big unwieldy oh, bow. So to to ensure that Matt's going to take that hit, uh, Lolly, you'll actually need to step one towards Nergigante because you're both equidistant at the moment in terms of counting nodes. So if you'd I have move... to use that task shift to, to stand closer. I assume if I move um, here, I'll get in the way, right? So I should just... If you, if, if you move, yeah, if you move there, you might actually get hit by it. You want to you move... <laughs> give Nerg a nice clear shot. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love that this cinematic is actually happening. Yeah. It's great. Through the everyone, runway. Stepping away from me. <laughs> Right. And you're getting uh, cocky, like, oh yeah, you walk yeah. away. So, oh yeah. god, no, he's coming. <laughs> here comes, here comes, here comes the dive. Okay, so this is it's a move of four mm. towards you, range of two, so it is going to connect with you. It's going to do eleven damage with six dodge. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, and if anybody has happened to be close enough, it would hit everyone else at range two in front of it and at range two behind it as well. Because what happens is it slams down to the ground and a lot of spikes shoot out in front of behind it. Okay, so one, two, mm. three. And the good news is I can't dodge it as well. And I don't think I have enough health to survive it. Four. <laughs> that is just <laughs> the best news. Uh, what yeah. good news. Hmm. Yeah, so because it does 11 damage, you have three armor. That's just going to one shot you. So you're out. Um, oh, <laughs> you've been knocked out. <laughs> so what happens there is we'll take your hunter off the, off the game board. <laughs> no, please. Um, and um, your stamina board resets. So take all of your board cards off the game board. <laughs> It would have probably helped you, Lolis, because you need your stamina cards back. It's fine. I'm just. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm well aware it's fine for you. <laughs> <laughs> so the attack is uh, range two uh, out of its back arc as well. So it's just just missed Lolis. If you just stood one node closer, you'd have been hit by it as well. Um, okay, and then all of the spike tokens come off, as me and Alex were saying earlier. If you wouldn't mind taking the spike tokens off me, Alex. Um, and after Nergigante is gone, two hunters can take a turn, and you can play two attack cards. Um, and then dive is going to get put back where it was. So looking at who can activate, yes, anybody apart from SFG Alex can take turns. That actually includes you as well, Matt. You could go back straight away and you get to deploy on any of the nodes that you started on. Um, oh, so you go, can go back straight away and take a turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so so bad. Uh, there's not, I don't think there's much point in me coming back, to be honest. I'm doing, I've got rubbish cards. Sure. Okay. Um, so who, who else would like to take a turn? So, yeah. po the potion thing, right? That will clear your board, and what that gives you health. Yeah, it will recover you to full health and clear stamina board. Mm. And you, and if you're preparing, you can also sharpen your weapons. So take a look at your damage decks as well. Yeah, I'm going to need to sharpen before I do anything. So yeah, I've got three cards left in there. Got one. No. I feel like we started off real strong. <laughs> And now it's taking a downwards <laughs> turn. Oh, Wait, got, got damage there, deck right? reset, by the way, because I got knocked out. No, it does not. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought I had one damage. So card. for for Matt, he doesn't take any health damage, no. No, I got um, killed instantly. So he, he's, I just he's been. Back. He, yeah, he went. For, he did take health damage. It went from eight to zero, uh, and then <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then it's gone back to eight again when he comes back to the when he comes back to the mm. combat. Okay. Oh, what time? I've got two faints. Like I'm just you do trying in, uh, to. I'm trying to work out if it makes any sense to like because it doesn't seem like um like being knocked out is that bad so should i just yep. be using a potion to clear my board so i can do actually do something so so the main, the main downside of being knocked out is if we get if one person gets knocked out we've basically got two more faints if we faint as a group three times we lose so we can now only have two more people die uh one more one, you 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 go you lose on the on the third one. 
Um, Sorry. So one more person. Yes. Yeah, one more yeah. person. That's why. So we've got. So we've got yeah. one more that. We've got one more that can faint and us not lose. Okay. The faint after that, we're done. Um, so that would be the downside. Yeah. Um, but if you think it's worth, like, we're kind of starting to hit a point now where the stamina boards are getting full up and we need to be making that decision of kind of using the potions just to clear those stamina boards mm. versus the damage that's coming in. Um, Lolis, I guess you should be, in the grand scheme of things, less worried because you have the best armor out of all of us, mm. um, like, as standard. So you can probably take two, maybe three hits from him before you die. But we now know how terrifying that dive bomb attack is. Um, we know that we're generally don't not particularly well spread on break damage at the moment. Mm. So I guess it all just comes down to planning. But if you if you think you'd benefit from taking a potion just to clear off your stamina board, go for it. Like we're we're kind of we're in deep now. This feels like we're kind of like, we've got him over, we've taken more than half of his health off, but now we've hit a point where we're, we have less resources than he does. <laughs> I mean, I can, I could take a turn, but I can only play one card and it seems really like silly because I've got some, like a lot of cards that let me draw a lot of damage cards, could... but also I know I only have three damage cards on yeah. my deck at home. You could still take a preparation turn and not take a potion. So you could prepare... Um, you could sharpen your damage deck and then just end your turn and you naturally recover your stamina, you know, for one oh. card. So you, so you could still do a preparation turn just to sharpen your weapon. Um, Can I do that then? Sure, yeah. Does yeah. that take up one of our turns? It's, yeah. st it's still a yeah. turn, yeah, it's still a turn. So so what happens there is we'll take your damage deck and shuffle it back into, or well, your discarded cards and shuffle it back into your damage deck. I'll just do that because tabletop can be a little bit fiddly. Okay. Um, you can still move during a preparation turn as well. So you've got your walk. Okay. I'm going to move towards. Uh, okay. Um, and then at that point, we just end your turn as normal. So we draw you a time card. Um, and the time card we've drawn for you is... Just keep hunting. So you flipped your hunter token face down already. Yep, discard a card. And it's any cards in your hand you don't want. Get rid of any or all of those. And then you draw back to a hand size of five. Uh, if your attack deck runs out, don't worry about that. You just shuffle it and carry on. You'll always have attacks that you can use. Okay. It's not like your damage deck. Ooh. Okay. Um. So it's just me and Matt who can go, right? Mm. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so if you want to go and just kind of just... get get back fresh. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, I can't do much because of my my stamina is so full. But I mean, you've got a free. You've got no nothing on your board. Yeah. Yeah. Right, what have you been doing this whole game? Oi! Being <laughs> squished underneath Dying this massive us. dragon. I got turned into Pate a second ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, time to get back to work. Mm. I like that it's got spikes because I probably got squished into a load of meat, but then it came on like little sticks as well. Yeah, it was like, like serving me up like one of those pineapple hedgehogs. Shish kebab. Yeah. Oh, like a pineapple hedgehog. Yeah, yeah we went two cheese. very different ways of that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you went to the, the, the 80s. Like, the classic 80s like party, party food. food. Yeah. 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 Well, Mian, if, if you want to rest up next turn, because this lets us play free cards, so I could just take free shots at it, and that would help me clear some of these kind of NAF cards. Oh, I mean, like, there's no other way of you getting rid of those except for starting to take a turn. turn so. So. so something I, I will note at this point when we get to where we want to start dealing damage is at the moment he has no spikes. So the first hit that we do in the next one, mm. he will have the least armor possible mm. because you'll be hitting him for the first time. There's no spikes increasing his armor. Um, so I ideally, mean... we want to be we want to be set up in a good spot before we start hitting those parts for the first time. That does all get absolutely erased if we spend turns preparing and then his next behavior is one that has the spike icon, icon on it. So then he just puts okay. one on all of them anyway, but just like something that is worth considering. I'm, I'll be honest, I don't really know what the right way to go is. Mm, it might be worth me doing my prep turn now then, because if Matt has only got attacks that just draw one card, then you're just attacking him and adding spikes and not... Yeah. Yeah, that's that fair. much damage. Yeah. Go for it. So it might be worth me prepping and then like 
yeah, kind of reset so for damage. reset for round two, as it were. Yeah, okay. we've shown him what we're made of. He's yeah. Yeah, well, that's what he can do. Let's finish this one way. So... Right. They're less than half elf, so. Uh, yep, shall okay. I, shall I just um, sharpen my blades then? Yeah, do it. Okay. Um, how do I? Do that if you like. So shift F. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you, or you could drag select the deck as well. That works by holding uh, shift. I think. Holding shift. Okay. Hold shift and drag select. Yeah. Uh, nope. <laughs> yeah i i'm struggling with that <laughs> so if you if you take your cursor off the deck yeah then hold, hold shift hold yep. your left click down drag across the deck ah uh, there you go and, and press f to flip it all yeah then you should be able to shuffle in there you go uh, shuffle is a uh, right click and there's an option for shuffle okay got you <laughs> okay uh and then i'll draw a time's up uh, you can move. You can move as well. So you can do your oh, two yeah. node walk if you want to. <laughs> what attack do we know that they're doing next? Uh, so Nerg is going to a target the closest to us at the moment. Nerg is going to go for lollies. Okay, I will move. <laughs> Within a bit theory, we do know that there are some in there where he likes to attack before he moves. So there is no guarantee of that. Okay. I say we know. We have seen evidence that that is a thing. Right. I'm going to go so there. Don't necessarily and then know I'm how frequent move it is. There. Okay, and then shall I draw you a time card? Yes, please. Okay, so your time card is a tactical shift. So all of the usual stuff in terms of flipping your hunter token face down and discarding a card from your stamina board. Uh -huh. um, and then getting rid of any cards you don't want in your hand and drawing back up to five. And then you've got this is the option again where up to two of you can move one node, if that's helpful. Um, I think I'm okay where I am, to be honest. And SFG Alex might want to move a bit if you're playing Mr. Yeah. Slow Greatsword Hunter. I think I'm going to use one to move into this bush mm. just so I'm not the most threatening. Actually, no, I'm not going to use it to move into the bush. I'm going to move to there because I've been camping yeah. on this Greatsword block card since the start of the game so that I can, I can take a pretty nasty hit because with the armor that I've got across my equipment, I would actually be blocking including that card, seven physical damage. Hmm. Um, you could have no. taken the dive. Yeah, you could have taken the dive. I could Everyone have taken a dive. bullying me, and we should have been <laughs> Alex. That's because you were playing like the offside rule and just kind of stepped forward a little bit, so I was the, <laughs> the furthest away. <laughs> it was more that he's going for the furthest, and I was standing directly next to him, and I am not yeah. the most nimble. <laughs> you just called it like a, a mean name or something, as attention? Um, nice that card. I just drew a faint faint card by the way, which is awesome. That's helpful. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, so I think we're on to Nerg's next start. next behavior. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what Nerg's going to do this time is Nerg's going to do a rolling smash. So going to turn towards the target of Nerg, which is Lolis, as we know. Hi. It's that guy. <laughs> um, it's probably going to move more like that angle. Oh, so the tabletop is not super helpful for angles. Come on. There we go. Um, and then he's going to roll to his right, I think. Uh oh. Okay. Uh -oh. okay, so he's going to roll to the edge of the game board there, and then would roll a second time, but then hits the edge of the game board and stops. Rolling. Okay, and then he's going to do uh, seven damage at range two, so it is going to hit Lolise. Oh. Uh, to front, right, and rear, but it's only going to hit Lolise. For, so for seven damage, dodge a five, and it's going to stun. Um, so can you actually dodge that? Have you got any three dodge cards in your hand? Don't think so. I love how watching no. the table topi you have a so have you got any three and I just see an ocean of different coloured hand curses <laughs> descend <laughs> on, on the uh, yeah. so, so, so it looks like you're gonna be taking this one. So it's yeah. uh, as I said, it's seven damage. You've got four armor, so drop your health down by three. Uh, and it's also going to stun you as well, which means you have to take one of the cards from your hand and place it face down in your stamina board. Ah. It's just burn some stamina. Um, I will do this one. Oh, I just cleared that so I could do a proper attack. <laughs> that's what you get for putting him to sleep. Yeah, that's true. Okay, and then uh, after, after after rolling smash, it's two hunters to take two turns. So who? Mm, I think one of them has, has to be. Yes, yeah, so you have to go next, Matt. So where were the spawn points again? Because I've come back on one of them, right? Yeah, I'm just going to get those track tokens back. Did you put them back in the bag, Alex? Oh, they're over there, aren't they? 
I did not. I just I think moved them out. It's all right. around here, because I think this is where I started originally. So one of them was here. Uh, one of them was here. One of them is here. Ah, there we go. Uh, and I think the last one was down here, near sort of near his face. I think those are the four. Got oh, yeah. I'll start there. Sure. That feels like a good place to start. That's not immediately. Uh, wait, what's the next behavior card? Oh, the next. It's the, the next person, but it's a tail move. Which is person, but tail attack. Yeah. So it might it might well be sweeping around behind it before it moves, or it might move first. Okay. Well, I think I should be okay, he says, before he immediately gets killed again. Uh, yeah. And I can play two cards. Mm -hmm. uh, well, my options are quite limited, so what I'm going to do is play Charge Sidestep. Yep. That allows uh, which, that's me move. Mm -hmm. uh, those are both range two, so I can't move I move to here, I might so me out of the tail. That's at range three. So if you move into the bush, oh, you'd be yeah. range, you'd be, if you move into the bush, you'd be at range two, which you can do because it's diagonal movement. I'll okay, just get in there. there we go. Go. Get in the bush. <laughs> yeah. Seven. Just you know, just having a bit of a, a breather in the bush after getting squished. Uh, so going to do that. That also lets me draw an extra damage card, and then I'm going to use arc shot. Okay. Which ignores armor, so I get plus one damage and then two damage, two damage cards total. So a two and a two. Okay, so four damage straight through. It doesn't really matter where you hit because there's no break token either. Uh, but you have to, you do have to, you have to pick a location for spike token though. So uh, I think I need to do it on the side, right? Because I'm at the side of it. So you can hit the claws or you can hit the uh, uh, the the wings. Now the wings are naturally higher armor anyway, um, so you might want to hit there. Yeah, let's go for the wings. Okay. Right. Um, is there anything else you want to do with your turn? Uh, I think that's all I can do. I've only got two cards, right? Uh, so you, you, can... You've got your walk as well. Or oh, you can faint. As you said. Yeah, let me let me faint and just keep this nice and clear. Sure. So I'll discard those two. And that also gives me another card back. So I think that's me then. Awesome. I shall draw you a time card. Da, 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 da. Come on, camera. Back in business. So we've drawn a we've drawn a threat shift. So um, if you want to do the usual things for ending your turn, turning your hunter token face down, mm -hmm. discarding card from your stamina board, drawing back up to five. A threat shift is everyone passes their hunter token to the left. You might as well do that before you flip them all face up. Oh. So if your threat token is going to the next hunter. Oh, that's a bare hand. I wish I had that hand last time. So now I think Wallace is the most threatening. Mm. Yes, to die. It's like real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, now that any one of us can take a turn, would people mind if I took a potion and then took a turn, or does potion, potion taking a potion is not a turn, right? It it is. It's a preparation turn, oh. kind of like what you did before. Yeah, just um, take so, the potion, Lily, because you're you running out do, of health anyway. So I will point out that you do have the Jagras helm. If you read the text on that, speed eating. Once per quest, this hunter may use combat actions and preparation actions during the same turn. Ooh. So I can do uh, it. Yes. Okay. Can yes. I do, do? Would people mind if I did that then? Go uh, ahead, Lollies. Wolf yeah. down a sandwich and then like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Get yourself a meal deal. Yeah, massive baguette in one hand. I miss Big meal old deals. <laughs> Not sponsored in any way, but oh boy, do I miss meal deals. <laughs> Yeah, Nergi, Nergi's like, like, you should really get those crisps on that sandwich and not drink, but just for value. <laughs> Everyone so knows sweet fish for value, and it is a duck wrap, assuming you eat meat, <laughs> a brownie, or something along those lines, and the most expensive drink that's naked, included in naked the deal. Smoothie, yeah. yeah, like an innocent smoothie. Or something. Like you just look yeah. looking at, I don't really don't know how much I want to eat any of this, so I'm going to choose what I eat based on the RRP and how much, value, <laughs> yeah. and how much better value I get. You always get like they do the especially small bottles where it's like you get five <laughs> milliliters of really expensive drink yeah. that they only produce to make the meal deal seem better. It's like, why would I have a bag of apple slices mm. when I could have this four kilo bag of crisps? Yeah. I feel like Nergo Ganti is definitely, definitely purveying the meal deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
just wanting to get the most for its money and yeah. then absolutely letting rip if there's no prawn cocktail sandwich left. Yeah, he's so just, mad. He's mm. so angry. What do you mean there's only BLT? <laughs> do I look like I eat lettuce? <laughs> <laughs> do I look like I want tomato in a sandwich? <laughs> Disgusting. Anyway, do we... Um, <laughs> to, <laughs> to get back no. to my turn. Um, do we know what nerd nerdy is uh, doing on their next turn? Do we have an idea? So Nurk is going to attack the closest hunter, um, which is like quite likely to be you because you've got the threat of eight. So you're actually in a pretty good position here to use your guard up card. Yeah, so to, I've, that's what to, I was trying to find out. If, um, to throw up some extra armor. Yeah. So if you if you place that down first, that's probably a good idea, and it gives mm -hmm. you another spot, another spot. I think it's one more attack that you can make after that. Yeah, that so the, have like the, the big thing to consider with those guard up cards is that you ideally want to place them early and then place other cards after them. Because if you were to play them as the last card, then you'd end your turn and immediately take it off the board. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to put them on and then put a card after as a buffer so that they don't just get removed straight away. Um, now, my problem is that my my biggest hitter is also like an end of end of row kind of card so i don't necessarily want to play that oh i need to have two face up cards for that as well yeah. um then the oh i have a free movement don't i so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna move in yep and then i'm oh sorry <laughs> i need to go <laughs> then i'm gonna play this card and do two damage hits jump rising slash okay yeah and is this on his face this oh. is on his stupid, stupid face, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, and that's nice. six. Wow. Yeah. So whack four, him. Whack him four, with that hoagie. Four damage because he's got two armor on his face at the moment. Okay. And uh, then I get to move one. So I'm going to move one away. Over here. <laughs> Don't I go towards me? <laughs> well, now we're equal distance, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's still good, still gonna target Lolly. Well, Matt is, yeah. Yeah, I'm next to you. Don't don't just point it in my direction again. You're gonna do a tail attack as well. <laughs> That's a sweeping okay. one, right? Shall oh, wait, I draw a ten? Hold on. In, to stop it from hitting both of us, would it make more sense for me to go like this way? Uh, if, honestly, what if if you're accepting that Nerg's gonna hit you, the probably the best place to stand would be where you were, right in front of him in the bush. Um just be just because it's the furthest away from everybody else you can get, I think. Here. Well, I don't want to move too uh, far away from other people because I want them to get there so they can do their attacks without having to waste so any cards to move. Where my blue hand is, where this bush is here. And I'll have to move Nurg to let you get in there, but probably stand there. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> what if I go over here instead? That works. Follow, your, follow your heart. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go here. Okay. It's just too intimidating, that digital plastic. Okay, so uh so we'll draw your time card and we've got tactical shift again. So um usual stuff and uh, flip to your token face down, discard the card from your stamina board, and up to two of you can move one node each, if that's helpful. So I would quite like to take one of those just to move yeah. one, one closer in if that's yeah. okay. Mm. And I I might also just plop myself here. <laughs> Okay. I reckon I'll be safe there. Oh, famous last words. Backfired yet. <laughs> famous, famous last words. So the yeah. Nerg, Nerg's next behavior is going to be a oh. tail mace. So it's going to hit before it moves to its left, right, mm -hmm. and rear at range oh, two. Oh, that's not good for me. So that's going to hit Matt. <laughs> um, okay. So that's going to hit um, for eight damage at dodge four. Oh, no. <laughs> dodge four. Can yeah. you dodge, Matt? Oh, yeah. Easy. Ah. Oh. Okay, uh, right. Uh, let me just consider what's best to use. I'm going to use. It's also going to drop spike tokens on everything as well, so it's going to go back up to five spike tokens. Oh, why'd you be like that? It's too blazing charge shot. Okay, I'm going to use my two uh, boss oh, coatings to, to get out of the way of that. Those are nice. Okay, do you want to move up to four nodes as well? Or are you happy where you are? Uh, what's the range on this? Three. So when, after it's done its attack, it's going to move three nodes away from Lolly, so it's going to step backwards. Okay, I'll go here. I'll chase it a little bit. Sure. And then it's going to step away, so it's going to go just to the board edge like so. 
Oh, the last time we got it in a corner, it wasn't good for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, it wasn't good for me. So. You're it's not in the other corner yeah. this time, though, which is really no, nice. true. No, that's true. Um, so it's going to be three hunter turns that can go, and you can play two cards each. So who's going to go? Which three um, are you going to go? It has to be the three of us that aren't loadies, right? Uh, that looks correct. Yes, it does. Okay. Mm. So uh, which one is going to go first? Let's go first. I'm easy. I could I could go first if you want, and then maybe back off to... Uh, yeah, if you've got a plan, I don't currently have a plan. A, so a plan would a plan. be a vast over exaggeration of what I have. Uh, um, Let's go but, with you have a brain. I'm lacking one. Right? Yeah. So okay. you go nuts. Play two cards. These are both shots. That's a blazing charge shot. Okay. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. Bless you. Um, blazing charge shot. Oh wait, that, I need to be within one. Okay, I'm gonna step. Oh, that's not going to get me close enough, is it? What was I here? Hmm. Really would be nice to be within one. Uh. <laughs> can I play? I can play the card for movement without accounting towards my. Correct. 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 Cool. Just I'll play face down. this. So I get my free movement and then my. Oh. oh! I'm trying to put it under. There we go. Thank you. Um, alrighty. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Easy, shoot it right in the tail. Uh, right in the crack. In the um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blazing charge shot, so I'm within one space now. Uh, two damage cards, fire damage, and because I'm within a space of the monster, I get to draw an extra damage card Correct. and stun it, but stun it doesn't make a difference because nice. it's vulnerable to stun. Correct. I can at least draw two. Nice. And one. Three. Nice. Oh, and do a fire. And Very nice. when I play a fire elemental attack, I get to draw an extra damage because of my Andra Helm. You do? Very good. Oh. Draw another one. Look at this. <gasps> Twelve. <laughs> Twelve damage. Okay, nice. so it's claws probably the best place to hit, and it's got three armor in its claws, so you've just done nine to it, so it's down to twenty one. Nice. Yes. Okay. Forever that, twenty-one. Yeah, was that the first fire elemental token? I wasn't keeping track, or was there another that one? That was the first, yeah. yeah. Okay, the first one. one. Very good. So, uh, is there anything else you want to do with your turn, Matt? Yeah, I still got this one to play. Uh, this ignores armor, and I just get a draw one card. <gasps> oh, cool. It's yes. a free. Awesome. So we're down to eighteen health on Nerg. Whoa. Yeah, okay, uh, and then suck it, Nerg. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got like so many Nelson Muntz quotes. Just yeah, at some point, it's it's like, which is the right one to say? <laughs> it's, a bit sad. it's just trapped, you know, backed into a corner, being. I'm being shot. in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> what did you imagine. eat the meal deal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need a time card, right? Please. You do. Uh, you do. So. If you don't mind drawing one for oh, me. I've just got this so image problem. of him sitting there in a corner, just like clutching some. Weird eighties party food, pineapple chunks. Yeah. <laughs> ah, my favourite meal deal snack, pineapple chunks. Oh. So, so you keep hunting. So just a regular stuff there. Yeah. Right. Your turn. Discard, and then I need to draw back up to five. Uh, when the attack deck runs out, you just reshuffle, right? Sorry, yes. the attack deck, whatever. The... Yeah, the attack deck. The attack. Oh, deck. This is the attack. Attack and damage. Uh, so. Uh, who is going to go next? So I am very tempted. Now this is this may be a mistake, but currently I'm like a bit out of it in terms of like being able to get in and do much damage wise. Oh. If you want me to be able to get in, I'm kind of tempted. I also have the Jagras Helm, so I've got access to the speed eating where I can potion and do combat stuff. I'm partially tempted to use that last potion. Yeah. I may not even use speed eating. I might just take a turn to just like, do a preparation turn, sharpen, take a potion, clear everything off so that when we loop back round, I can get in and do some more big hits because yeah. I'm just very wary of he's always too far away from me to be able to get in. And now I've got four cards on my stamina board, which is great for those big like true charge slash finishers like I had last time. Um, I think I drew two of my fours in my last attack. So looking at my damage card, I've only got one other four in that deck. So the next mm. one probably isn't going to hit quite as hard anyway. Um, I guess I'm just wary of like, I'm scared I might get hit really hard. And I don't know if I could hit him hard back with where I am at the moment. But I am very conscious that this would be our last potion. And I am currently on full health. Mm. Like I'd only be using it for the stamina stuff. 
You you wouldn't need to take the potion, would you, to get the stamina back? Is so to clear my stamina just... completely, I'd need oh, to. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Or I could just take a preparation turn, sharpen, drop one off. I mean, that works I think too. we're at 20... Well, no, we're at 18 yeah. now. We've almost done it. I think it, it. it's almost worth just to take the potion just so we can try and finish him off with some big hitters. Yeah. We can survive one more faint as well, so even if one of us goes down, because it seems like when it hits, it hits so hard that potions yep. are almost a little bit... Mm. Yeah, wrap, but it, it depends on... It. I guess it largely depends on, on who it's in, because obviously mm. I can stop seven damage. So with the like the general damage is like kind of between the eights and sevens, like I can almost entirely tank a hit. Whereas for um, you and me and you're way more dodging, so it's kind of like I either dodge it or I almost get one shot. Whereas for me and Lolis, we've got a bit more built-in armor, so it's that's more of a choice. Whereas for you guys, it's generally like, well, I either dodge it or I die. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd go for it. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Happy with yeah. Happy to yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm just this trying is to figure out. Where it all out. went wrong. I'm just trying <laughs> to figure out. I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to be a bit more aggressive with it. Hmm. Right, I'm going to be more aggressive with it, and if this is a really dumb idea, then it's a really dumb idea. Um, it's, is it two cards I get to play, Jamie? Yes. Okay, so I am going to use a Blazing Slam face down, I think. Yeah, I'm going to use a Blazing Slam face down for the two agility, and I'm going to go one, two. I'm then going to use my free walk. Jamie, if you can move Nerg back a bit, because I'm stepping into the node directly in front of him. Yep, just give me a sec. Stepping into the Nerg zone. <laughs> I believe moving that fast for a great sword is indeed the highway to the danger zone. <laughs> um, highway to the danger zone. I'm glad someone that can sing. Yeah, lots of singing. Lots of singing. I'm, of singing in this I'm so glad someone that can sing could do that. Very musical. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to use the speed eating once a turn to use the potion and sharpen. So that will completely clear all of this stuff off, which is not the best for greatsword because all of my big damage comes in right at the end. But mm. it's we'll take better. it. Take it. Mm. More okay. damage, more good. Do you want me to draw your time card? Watch on now, Alex. I've still got cards to play. I haven't played any face-up cards. Oh, you asked. Speed you asked me eating. Oh, of course yeah. you are. Teach me for not listening. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to go with Rising Slash first. So that will just be the two damage cards, but it does have a break. And obviously I'm smacking him in his big silly face. Hit him in the face. There's only one, only one token on there, so the break doesn't do anything really. But um, two, two of these on his big smelly face. Nice. nice. Whoa. Seven nice. down to so that'll be four damage. It's like, hey, smelly is too far. <laughs> <laughs> Stop running away. <laughs> um, and then I will use a um, blazing slam as my second. So that will be just the one damage card or two. So that'll only deal one damage, but it does have the fire mm. on there. So fire triggers. So the elemental nice. damage will also trigger. Oh. Nice. And that will be a two. Not a one, at least. <laughs> not a not a one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we've been very lucky with these elemental cards. <laughs> um, yeah. And then that will be the end of my turn. So if, again, Jamie, because I'm very lazy, if you could grab me. <laughs> sure. So he's down to 11 health now. It's no. Oh, yeah. oh, um, easy. Okay. Close. I can taste it. <gasps> right. So we're on to threat shift. So, uh, so end your turn is normal, and all of your hunter tokens are getting passed to the left again. Oh, I'm getting the most rare. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Ooh. That was like we... one of those coin drop machines. Do we all reset now? I think we're all grey, right? The activation no. tokens. Are we? Oh, I think not. so. I know. Yeah. No. no. I, think there was, there was... I think there's one. I think Mehan is yeah. not. Uh, yeah, oh, Mehan, you've three... still got your turn this turn to go, right? Yeah, we Correct. had three people yeah. who got to go. and Yeah. Yes. Um, but yes, that is me. Nice. All right. Nice. Mian, you're up. Mian, oh. finish him off. 11 damage. <laughs> I believe. Sure. Yeah, not quite sure I'm going to be able to do that, especially. Well, does this demon mode still trigger? 
No, because no. that only lasts for the turn that you played it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got two move, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I will not be able to get... I will need to pay an agility card to get right up in there. So you could use your two move with your um, with your marathon running, and then you actually have a card there. I think it's Lunging Stab that gives you a movement before you cause damage. Ah, it does indeed. I've got two of those. Two Lunging mm-hmm. Stabs. Uh, when can I play this Faint? You can play that whenever you like, because you play it now if you want. I'm playing it, yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh, put it over there. So that means Smart. I get rid of two, yeah? Yep. Oh, I'm just going to do that for now. Yeah. <laughs> no wing is getting in the way. Right. I will play one of these London stabs. I'm gonna. I'm just going to turn Nerg so that <laughs> yeah. you can actually play your cards. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Please, Nerg. I'm so courtesy. Um. So that moves me one forward. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to move into this. You can move, move on to the same one as me. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, same one. Okay. Yeah. Please I'm come and stand with me on <laughs> this threat. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> I draw two cards. Plus one if it's the first attack card you played this turn, it says. Hmm. Ah, another one. Okay. Nice. Whoa. Steven. Yeah, that's seven damage. <clears throat> so on his head, it's, just, it's, another, it's another four, so it's down to seven health. Right. Um, right, okay. That's my first attack. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Uh, uh, this says move your hunter one. No, before drawing damage cards. If you do, do I have to do that? No, no, that's it. That's it. If you need some extra movement, you've got it there, but you don't have to. You could just play it for the two damage. You know what? I'm just going to play the bladed fangs because that's just your standard. That is a break as well. The last one. Yeah, this one is a break. There's bladed fangs. Okay. So uh, uh, it's another break token on his face. Yep. Right. Uh, two, two, three. That's five nice. damage. Okay, so that'll be two damage, I think, with three armor on his face. So down it's to down five. to five. Five mm. health. We're getting in there. From 85 to five. No problem. Mm. Uh, is there anything else you want to do with your turn, sort of r- moving any more, or is that going to be ending your turn I there? I don't think I can move anymore, right? You, you could play more cards to move further if you wanted to, or you could... Just stay there. Uh, I'm fine. Okay, so so a time card for you. That's just a, a regular keep hunting. So the usual flip your hunter token. Everyone's hunter tokens gets flipped to green. Because mm-hmm. I will laugh if this next Nergigante behavior is a big sweeping Kill. attack in front of it. To his left. <laughs> Don't Kill laugh. Mod. Do I take one off my board as well? Yes. The, yes. Yeah. yes, part of the, the ending awesome. you turn. So okay. this is a. Let's hope this isn't a big. It's a, it's a head attack. So you might be all right because it's not a claw attack. So it's probably not a big sweeping thing. He says as he flips the card, and yeah, it's going to move first. It's going to move out of there. So you're all going to get out of the way. So it's going to go for Lolis. Hi. Oh, wow. But you still... the dangerous part of this is it spikes, and I don't think we can stop him doing a dive bomb next. Like that's going to be so many <laughs> no, spike to tokens, and time. only yeah, one of him. us, only one of us gets to go. And gets three cards, so it's all going to fall to one person <laughs> <I have laughs> to have kill him. Some good attack card. If if I can do the thing, on my, if, we'll see. I Let's have, see I have faith. Okay. I have faith. So we've got to yeah. we've got to do some uh, movement for Nerg first. Um, so Alex, you actually need to come and move your hunter out of the way. So Alex and Mia, you need to move your hunters whilst Nerg right. moves. You. Alex and Mia. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So thing. you can. So you it could it could move you quite far across the game board. So where you need to move to is where my blue hand is here, or where Alex has already moved his. Um, it's going to move towards Lolly's. Yeah, so if you there. step there, yeah, you'd just be getting out of his way. Okay. So one. No, no, no please. After you. Three, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I think, is it, is it four move or five move? Five move. So um, so Lolly's, you're getting pushed off the node you're on. And then it's going to move on to, again onto that node that you're on and push you again. Come on, man. <laughs> no, very, very rude. Yeah. It's like it's okay. like I feel like I'm in like a supermarket and somebody's just decided to like barge into me with their trolley mm. and it's like come on yeah. there's like this whole aisle just go around <laughs> he wants to get to the real deal he needs to bark you out the way Lily's just standing there like I'm walking here hey I'm hey, walking I'm here walking. hey forget about it so this is this is going to do eight damage but luckily you're actually already at armor seven because you still have your guard up card there. Um, so you could just take this attack on the chin and just take one damage. I'm just going to take you... it. I'm just going to take it. Yeah. 
Just look like an absolute champion. Yeah. Okay. And then, as SFG Alex said, there's one hunter activation to go, and you can play three attacks during your turn. And if you don't manage to bring Nerg down, there's going to be another dive. Yeah. <laughs> and that dive bomb will be very scary because you're all grouped the up. The furthest away is Matt, and we are all grouped up, so yeah. we will get nailed. <laughs> I can literally do three attacks, so no, I feel like, and I'm I've got I'm faith. right here. I've got a faith. So, okay. so at the start of your turn, just to, just before you do anything else, guard up. Yeah, it needs to get rid of. So you've got a full stamina board. Okie right, dokie. Right. T number one, we're going to sling or shot this, this dude, right? Right in the face. Mm -hmm. That's what we like to do. That's just one damage card. We're just going to, we're just going to chill out for a second. Hopefully this is low. That's a three. So that's, so that's one damage because he's got four armor on his face right now. Then I, well, this is yeah. so tense. <laughs> this is so tense. Do I play advancing slash or chop? Because I don't need to move. So, if you play advancing slash, that break token will take one of the spike tokens off. So, it'll make your last attack hit harder. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Do it. Yeah. That sounds do it. good. One attack. Yeah. Two. So that's done one damage again. Um, but you were going to rip the spike token off, so he's only got three armor on his face now. But he has got three health left, so you need to do oh, six please. damage. We're going to finish it with a sword shield combo, which is my speciality. Come on now, one, that's... one, lowly, two, Come on. three. Yeah. Flip, flip them one oh. time or all together. Oh, oh. 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 you just that's just got good. it. Well done. Nicely on done. The nose. Oh. Oh, so, no, just so to, you get to you just get do a quick demonstration of what would have happened. Select. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, because I want to show don't what would have happened if you didn't take him out. So what would have happened is you'd have played dive, you likely would have been pushed probably to there or there, and he would have come yeah. flying through one, two, three, four, and probably <laughs> taken out all of you. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was a, probably I think I might have just survived it, but I think I think Matt yeah, and Ian Matt and I would be might have been uh, squished. Yeah. Yep. So on the nose, but Lolis, that does mean, as is tradition, that you get to select the Nergigante miniature. Now I'm going to give this before you do it. I have no idea how much this is going to break Tabletopia when you select that and press <laughs> <Disclaimer>. F. <laughs> I have no idea what is going to happen, but you got the killing blow, so you get to flip him. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Doesn't work quite as well as Angela. Like like, like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Die. We did it. But there we go. We did it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, Excellent work. We did it. Did you say before nice we started that you'd never won against? Oh no, no. I've beat. Beauty. I've. It's not that I've never. With Anjanath, I had never lost. Uh, I have definitely lost against Nergigante, and very often it, especially with the arena quest, like that's very often this sort of place that I feel like I get where I'm like, it is so close here. Like if he gets this next dive bomb off, we're in a lot of trouble. So it's like just that race to just get the last bit of damage through before that. final. Yeah. Yeah that, yeah. that was just, I think, yeah, if we'd got, if we'd had like one more turn, it would have probably been game over. Right. If I, if yeah. we mm. hadn't finished mm. it there. Yeah. Whew, I thought I was going to do a lot more damage there. I, I was a lot like, Happier <laughs> about the whole situation than I should have been. <laughs> well, be team Dice Hunters, two for two now. Yeah. Yeah, two for two. It's true. What's the hunter really expert? good at this game. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I think Lolis as the uh, the recurring members. And of course, Alex is a, a guest member of uh, the do party. I get an honorary, do I get an honorary yeah. membership to Team Dice Break? <laughs> Super. Of course. Do I get a certificate yeah, or you something have to in the prove, post? Prove yourself in conflict first. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. yeah. We'll, send you, card. we'll send you an email and you can print out a, a certificate. A certificate, that sounds yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'll oh, put lovely. it on my wall with all my other useless rubbish. <laughs> Hey, Wait, that sounds like that's shade. Yeah. It's not shade. It's not shade. <laughs> I'm not sure that it wasn't. <laughs> wow. Let's go with at, at worst a backhanded compliment. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. Let's wrap it up before uh, this whole digs uh, we get even deeper. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you so much for um for showing us this this other monster, um, you two and. Um, I believe by, by the time this is going to go up, which is like literally tomorrow, I think, um, there's a couple days left on the Kickstarter. Is that right? 
Yep, so running until 6 p.m. Uh, BST on Friday. Um, what's that going to be? Friday 30th of April. So still time to back us on Kickstarter. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, and I saw, I had a look earlier, and it looks like you guys are doing incredible on that Kickstarter. So well yes. done on that. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, I will post um, some links in the description as well for anybody who would like to check it out. And if you haven't watched part one of this uh, Let's Play yet, go ahead and, and check that out. You can watch them separately. You don't, There's no like continuity thing that you need to um, be aware of. But it was a really fun playthrough as well. And it, it worked quite differently. Obviously, you were saying at the beginning we had the whole um, kind of choose your own adventure bit to it as well. So um, give that a watch if you haven't already. Um, is there anything else you guys would like to shout out um, before... I wrap up entirely. I the, the only other thing will be um, the Kickstarter updates are going out regularly. So if there's other things, so we do have some, this is an example of one of the Elder Dragons. There are three in total available on the Kickstarter. Um, we have blogs out detailing how they work, though obviously we haven't done playthroughs. Um, and there will be a blog out at some point covering in words how the Nergigante works. So if if there was anything that you'd watched in this and weren't 100% certain of exactly how it worked, there'll be um, a Kickstarter update out that will we'll go over that at some point in the not too distant future before the campaign finishes on Friday. Awesome. Perfect. Absolutely. Cool. Great. Thank you well, very much. Yeah, thank you once again for joining us, you too. Mm. Um, and if you're here for the first time, of course, if you stick around to the end of the video, there will be some videos popping up at the bottom of the screen that you can check out. Plenty more videos from us to, to see. We've been going, what, it must be coming up to two years now. So <laughs> there's, there's a lot of content to see. Um, of course, you can head over to dicebreaker.com as well if you'd like to read some articles. If you love reading and you care to read some articles, not just by Alex and Ian down here and Matt Jarvis, but lots of guest writers as well, you should check that out. Um, thanks so much for joining us for one of these and as always have a lovely day bye, bye. bye.